Hello, Simon Trades here. You draw me in a Premier Union in Glasgow and unfortunately I don't actually have purple lights. But I'm not here to talk about lights, I'm actually here to talk about the railway journey that I'll be doing today. It's actually going to be a nice little easy relaxing one today. Because I'm visiting two railway stations on the Argyle slash North Clyde line. And then I'm actually going back to Glasgow to visit a station on the West Coast Bay line. Because later on this afternoon, the Klansman tour will be passing through, but that will be a separate video of its own. I'll show you the link at the end of the video. But in the meantime, I'm actually doing some stations just to kill some time. So I'm going to be leaving shortly because our first stop will be party to change trains. And then I'm going to be visiting Drumrai Station because there's something interesting happening at Drumrai at the moment. So I'm going to get my coat on and I'll see you at all the platforms for our train arriving. The only reason why I'm at par tickets is just to get some breakfast. You always have to have breakfast, it's a good start to the day. Anyway, our train should be arriving now to take us to drum ride. So you can now join me at the first station we're visiting, Drumrise Station. Now it is a Scott Bell station, it does have two platforms, but at the moment, the Glasgow bound platform is out of commission at the moment because they are doing platform services at this railway station. So every train going towards Glasgow is actually passing through here at speed. That side should be completed in April, but I think the whole scheme is actually completed in June 2022. Because I think they might be doing this platform next, I'm not too sure. So there's only like the trains towards Dalmuir that are stopping here at the moment. If you want to go to Glasgow, you've got to go to Singer, change it to Singer, then go back on yourself to Glasgow. Drumrai is actually built in 1953 because when they built this station, it's actually to serve two housing developments that happened in this area post World War II. And the free letter station code for Drumrai is DMY. In case you wonder what that driver said, he just says, I hope you got my good side. So he was just basically having a laugh and a joke, which is good in this hobby. It's all right to have a good laugh and a good joke and a good banter. And honestly, that's one thing that I do enjoy about this hobby, filming trades and having a good time. 
But the reason about it draw dry is because there is actually a train going to Malaga and open from Glasgow Queen Street. And it should be a pair of class 156 DMUs passing through here. So we're going to get that fly through here now and then carry on do some more filming. It's nearly been an hour at Drum Rice Station and it has really been interesting to see the trains passing through here towards Glasgow. And if you want to come here to film the trains here speeding through Platform 1 at Drum Rye, you only got till the 3rd of April 2022 because that's when that platform across me it should be reopened. And I'm not sure if they're going to close this platform or not but I think they might do because the work's here until June anyway. But I'm going to be doing what people are going to be doing commuting at the moment because if you want to get towards Glasgow, you've got to board this train here on platform two and you've got to go to Singer Station, which is where I'm going next. I'm going to be filming at Singer for an hour and then I'll be traveling back towards Glasgow from Singer. Now, if you're coming from the Dalmuir section and you want to get off here, you have to go to Drum Chapel and change at Drum Chapel to come back on yourself to get off here. So our train should be arriving now take us to Singer. So I'm now currently leaving Drum Rye Station on this Class 320 EMU. As I mentioned, our next stop is Singer, but it's literally only like two minutes away, so it's actually not that very long. It's a bit windy today, but it's a bit warmer than it was on Thursday, to be honest. Let's get off this train now and film at Singer Station. Made it to the next station. I'm singing Carol, this song. Don't sing. If you sing, it's going to rain. And we don't want rain in this vlog, to be honest with you. But yes, we're at our next location, Singer Station. And I'm actually using this station as a turnaround, like commuters are doing at the moment, because they can't get to Drum Rye from Singer Station. They have to go to Drum Chapel to change to get to Drum Rye. Now a bit of history of Singer Station, because this was built on the 3rd of November 1907, I think by the North British Railway. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but Wikipedia did not say. I'm sure it's the North British Railway, to be honest with you. However though, when this station was built, it actually took its name from a factory nearby, which is long since gone. The Singer Sew Machine Factory. And it was a good large workforce of people. It actually had its own platforms at one point, which were terminus platforms. But the factory's long since gone. And it will be a sin if I've not told you the free letter station code for this station. It's S I N.
So I've just been looking online to find the worker platforms for Singer Station. I'll show you where they are in a second. And if I'm not 100% right, feel free to comment down below where they are. But I'm only rough guessing this one, to be honest with you. Now, the factory for the Singer sewing machine factory is actually just right behind me here. It's now all office buildings here on a retail park or a office block park or business park. That's the correct pronunciation, business park. Now, I have learned something about this line here because this is actually not the original line. When they built this line in 1907, it's known as the Singer Deviation because the original line is actually right behind me here. It wasn't right behind me there. When I was editing this video, I realized I made a massive balls up about the Singer Deviation. And honestly, I do apologize to you all about that. When I edited this video, I realized where everything was. So coming up, on screen now is a map of the area of Singer Station, which is east of Dalmura. And the first map predates the railway for 1907. The yellow line is the North British Railway with the lines of Dalmura to Partick, which one of the lines go by Yoka, and the other line goes by Westerton. The blue line is also a disused line, but it's part of the Caledonia Railway. Also on the map shows the site of Kilbo Road Station, and in red, the Singer Sewing Machine Factory. The next map has an extra purple line which represents the Singer deviation itself. This line was built in 1907 with Kilbo Road Station closing. But once the Singer deviation was built, Singer Sewing Machine Factory was extended on the site of the pre-1907 North British Railway Line. This next and final map shows the site where Singer workers' platforms used to be and it's just below the site of the Kilbo Road station. This is also coming up in the video where I guess where the worker platforms used to be. But honestly, I was totally wrong about that, but wanted to keep it in the video just to show you where I thought they were at the time. So that's the single deviation explained. Let's get back to the video. But I don't have time to have a look at the site of that Kilbo station because it's a bit manic here with the trains at the moment every 10 minutes. I've just got time to show you where the worker platforms are at Singer workers platform side, which were private platforms. I'm going to show you roughly where they are now before I catch my train back to Glasgow. So there's the station entrance for Singer station just here. I think just right behind me here is where the Singer worker platforms used to be. But there's something left that just has up here. First of all, I've got to say thank you, Cal. It started raining. But I'm on platform one now because I'm waiting for the 1018 service till our call. But I'm getting off at Glasgow Central Low Level to catch the next train on the high level to take me to Shield Mill, which will be the last station that I'll be filming today. So our train should be arriving now to take me back to Glasgow. I can have a bit of a rest while I'm headed back. And yes, it is raining. Bloody Cal and he's singing.
you'll find me in a waiting shelter at Shieldmere Station. I'm just going to talk about the station a bit before I just realise something. Now, Shieldmere Station was actually built when they regenerated the area of Wishaw. This station was opened on the 14th of May 1990 and it's also one mile from Flemington Station which is now disused. The three letter station code for Shieldmere is SDM and I've just realised that I've f***ed up massively. Yes, I do apologise about the swearing, but yes, I have messed up. Because, as you just saw, there was a Banty West Coast Ped Dealer that passed through at about 11.55, which was 390.044 Royal Scott. There's nothing out till 12.45. But the reason I'm at this location is I'm actually here to get the Klansman, which will be a separate video that I will list at the end of this video. You've probably seen the first clip of the Klansman as well. So, just show you one more train and we'll talk about today's Jersey Shilmere from Charing Cross. Well, that was surprising me because I did not see that on real time trains, but there is a pedino that went northbound. Anyway, let's talk about today's journey from Charing Cross to Shieldmere. And honestly, it really has been a nice relaxing day today so far. Started at Charing Cross, changed at Partick Station to get to Drumrise Station. A Drumrise one platform at the road is very interesting to film trains at because not many trains do stop at Drumrise apart from the 1560s on the Glasgow Queen Street to Obadol Malay services. So see some fast EMUs at that location is very interesting, but that platform should be opened on the 3rd of January 2022. And then I think they'll be doing the other platform that's standing on between April and June. I'm not too sure on that one. But after Drumrise Station, went over to Singer Station to film the trains there. It's just made class 318s and 320 EMUs that we filmed there. And yes, because of Carol singing, it did rain. But anyway, we went over to Glasgow Central for Sinker Station. And then after that, we came over to, to Shilmere Station. And honestly, it has really been an interesting ride. I do apologise if the camera's shaking a bit. My arm is actually getting tired. But hopefully, the reason that Shilmere Station is, is that I'm actually getting the Clansman Rail Tour through here. And there's going to be a card popping up on the screen now to show you that video of three locations I'm getting that. So all I've got to say now is feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. It has really been a good day so far. Thank you very much for watching this video. Here's a shot of the Klansman passing through Shearman Station. If you want to watch the rest of that video, feel free to click on that card that popped up. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.